the two kids, you are still looking so beautiful that he will never do this. You, you know, Kanonta was there. They are preaching for Mazen Nam the Kano to abandon her wife. <coughs> that is preaching from Master Prophet. I want to ask Master Prophet and Kanonta, are they going to be the one who will tell Mazen Nam the Kano who he will marry or who he will not go to marry? The one they give to Master Prophet freely that they are here in Germany committing nuisance. Agadiwan, a princess, will go on social media begin to sing for one idiot that we don't know where he came from. Master Prophet, we don't know where he came from. We don't know his background. We don't know his relatives. We don't know his family. He will be on social media committing nuisance. And the people that are backing Master Prophet up, they will never come out and say something about it. Now I want us to listen to this video before we proceed, please. And you hear what Kanonta said before I will go to you people, please. For example, that someone ever has to broadcast in Radio Biafra. He should be given a slot to broadcast in Radio Biafra. And some, some of them who are supposed to be in the position to carry out an instruction given to them they went and they were gossiping. They went at the back, was saying that Simon Oliver is taking over the leadership of IDP. That was not information. That information is, is incorrect. And these people who are supposed to be in the position are going around gossiping. Somebody will be jumping from one office to another. If your if your position or your office is Take care of the people. Go and take care of the people. Don't leave the people to go and do security work. Don't leave the people to go and do something. Um, hello, my people. I want you all to understand that this is an old video. There is something that I want to bring out on this video before I will go to you, Judge Money. If you haven't forgotten, when the message come that Simon Eber should begin or should take a slot on IPOB radio, to take a slot in IPOB radio, Simon Eber came out and make a publication that Mazen Nandekano told him that he should go to DOS and settle the problem that is there. Simon Eber I don't know how they pay the zoo people. They say that Simon ever have taken over Mazen Nam the Kano. Also, if I know Bang, Deborah Foka Tente also come out to praise Simon Eba that he don't even believe that is a one powerful man past Mazen Nam the Kano. Just imagine, just imagine Nigerian politicians praising Simon Eba. But Kanonta now is telling us that uh, Simon Eba should take a slot. Kanonta don't even allow the leadership to take their own decision because Kanonta think or he thought in his mind, where did Kanonta win? Did Kanonta, did this man went to school at all? That he, 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 he can't even understand the difference between kingship and freedom fighting, which is a nation. All those people that have fought for their freedom, like somebody like Mandela, we never heard about their family members. We never heard about his brother. We never heard about his sister. We know only Mandela. But in our case today, they are coming to tell us that uh, because you are brother to Mazen Namdekano, you see, the same canon that I want you people to know the deceit in this man. I tell you people, canon and Akwasri. And canon is a gossiper. And why I'm saying this, I want you people to pay attention. Of course, I don't know, maybe canon have called any one of you. Canon have spoken to canon many times. Whenever canon calls you on the phone, canon will start with intimidation. Like, like the last one he called me, he wants to tell him, listen to me, guy. Do you think I'm a kid or what? 
Do you think I'm a young? Do you, do you know my age? You can just come and begin to bark like a dog. When I raise my also voice, now he has to calm down because he knows that uh, when uh, you are not talking to a kid, Kanonta will come to you first. He will begin to tell you that the leadership did this. That is the intimidation of Kanonta. He will tell you that the leadership is the problem. The leadership is this or uh, that. The leadership is the one. He will tell you that leadership is the one that brings Simon Epa. Kanonta will tell you that it is the leadership that bring all this Umwakata in America. That is what Kanonta will begin to tell you first. Then you begin to believe. When I ask Kanonta, why don't you tell the leadership that Mazen Nambikano was kidnapped? Kanonta told me that these people are the leadership that they're supposed to know better. When they have already connived together with Madame Finance, all of them, I'm coming blow. You see, this is part one. And we I have you see, we are going to enter Gotha this time around because a lot of people have died in this quest of self-determination. May the souls of 28 men that died in Afaru Kuibek, may their soul rest in peace. We are all fighting for this freedom. There is nothing like family business in this because those people that died and keep on dying today, I don't know, are they not a family to somebody? Are they not people's brothers or sisters? We that we are today in exile, are we not the son to a mother somebody or to father to, to, to somebody? Kanonta will bring all his this idiocy in him, begin to parade himself as a leader. The same Kanonta begin to write it down because I will begin to ask you people question. The same Kanonta tell uh, what his name Adam Adama Brown daughter. This one that call herself a lawyer that is gossiping. That no That he she should keep on tweeting on Mazen Nandekano Twitter handle. Why Mazen Namdekano is in the hands of enemy? The same Kanonta is the first person that came out, begin to announce that the leadership must give Simon a slot in IPOB radio without allowing the leadership to do their job because he's trying to put himself as a leader because he thinks that they, they, they have a king in their family and now we have turned to Biafran restoration as a kingship. The same Kanonta, the first day that our leader they adopted our leader after 18 days, after eight days that our leader spent in Kenya. That Mazishina Sanworu asked Kanonta, where is your brother? Because that time I can have a brother. Kanonta say our leader is on mountain praying. I want to ask a question. If our leader died, are they planning for our leader to die? On a mountain, so that he, because if you watch what is happening, you will hear when the Lofebu was saying, Our leader have died in Kenya. Our leader have died in Kenya. Is it what they are planning that if our leader died in Kenya and they will say our leader went to mountain to pray, then he died in mountain that God have answered his prayer? I don't even understand, but we thank God that our leader stay alive. And I also want you people to know. That after the rendition of our leader, the count knows that the rendition of our leader to, to Nigeria. Or he, he, I don't know what he's doing. The same the leadership put their head together. Because everybody was running, running here to scatter. They don't know where, uh, how water entered into Opiobogo. They don't know. They had to bring head together to discuss and know what to do. Why some people are saying they are going to protect in Biafra land? They lead some, some they say that you people know that they have been killing our people. If they went out to protest now, they will begin to kill our people. What are we going to do? Let us bring another alternative. At the end, they bring up with the idea to sit at home. The same Kanonta jump out because he's assuming the, the position of leader. The same Kanonta jump out again, begin to tell our people there is nothing like sit at home. That some people want to do Neko. And like the one they have been doing, they have a job in Nigeria. All the whole school. You see Ezaku yesterday. Matthias Ezaku. Very good brother. He said yesterday that a mechanical engineering come to him to ask him for a job. That he should employ him. Now you begin to understand. But Kanonta is there telling us that uh, Neko, Neko, our people want to do Neko. The same Kanonta 
fight to stop sit at home this is how simon ever find safer landing because the leadership have taken their order we the media warriors have pushed this seat at home we we all know how we push this issue we push it so far and the, even though some of us are ready to go beyond that seat at home cannot a jump out from nowhere begin to lament begin to yap saying that uh, why should we sit at home why should we do this that is how simon ever hijacked this thing come out begin to shout we must sit at home you must sit at home you must sit at home of course simon never failed because he tried many times to also put his own seat at home but he don't know that what god says no man can ever stop it because the power has been given to the leadership whatever they speaks from their mouth i have told them they should forget about bringing that order back as far as they have spoken they should forget about it people now will do whatever they want but for them to bring order it will be very easy for them but for them to take it back is going to be hard because we are very tough people whenever we accepted something we are not going to stop the same kanunta is working with Oguefi in the same Oguefi is the one that brought all this umwakata in america the same kanunta is working with those people that the leadership have expelled because Kanunta is assuming himself as a leader because he's a brother to Marcel Nambekano. We I am challenging Kanunta that he should go to and bring DNA or he should come and prove it to us that it's not. They say Wikipedia have carried it. You know, whenever we speak, our mouth is a voice of God. We are gods on this earth. The media warrior that Marcel Nambekano created whenever we speak it's like that and nobody can ever stop us and there is something i want to tell the leadership today they should know it if they don't if they never had that thing in their mind i want them to go out there every day they should begin to pray to that they i mean they survive this thunder because if mazin nam the canon died in kenya what we are going to do to the leadership no god it's no it's only god knows because all of us we are confused we don't really know what happened and i want them to keep on praying to god that mazen now they can survive it and we have already understood what happened because when all these shenanigans started they were calling mazi chike they were calling mazi shinas and Oru. they were calling all the leadership and the, our mind was not in order i want them to pray to god i want them to you know go and give thanksgiving that Mazin Nan can survive it. And they, they know it. So, Mazin George Money, what I want to ask you now is this. Why Kanunta is jumping like a frog? Kanunta na kuasle. And I will keep on saying that we are living here. Kanunta na kuasle. Can you tell me what do you understand in all this thing that I said? Because we have a lot of things to discuss. I am looking for trouble me i'm looking for trouble and those things that they are saying that we shouldn't talk this is what i'm bringing out today kanonta said that our leader was on mountain praying the same kanonta tell kalola for to keep on tweeting on mars and the kind of page the same kanonta told kalola not to tell the leadership the same kalola no Korafo was expecting mazichin as to come and defend him Maze, i want to stop you i want you to say something please what do you understand on this behavior and attitude of Kanonta? Kanonta Kano. Amamo was Kinsley Kano. His name is Kinsley Kano, not Kano. Yeah, yeah, Kanonta. His name is Kinsley Kano. Mazi, the floor is yours, please. Thank you very much, the general. Um, great dear friends all over the world. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, first, first thing first, number one thing you should understand is that Kanonta is Kanonta want to override the instruction of the brother because he believed that he is called Kanonta. Uh, number two, Kanonta is on his own because he does not have any position in IPOB. If I am if I if if my memory still serves me right, Kanonta is dealing with illegal people in this struggle. 
Kanonta is a Confucianist. Kanonta is an opportunist. Kanonta is a guy man who wants to be faster than his shadow. And above all, Kanonta is audacious. What am I trying to say? Kanonta is trying every means possible. You know, the reason why he's doing all these things, he wants the world to recognize him as a supreme leader. Because you people don't understand what's going on. When we call Mazen Namdekanu supreme leader, you don't know how many people he's been affected by that name. You know, I have said this over and over again. When you see so many people trying their best, you know, to, to be in the position of Mazen Namdekanu, when you see so many people trying their best to override the instruction of Mazen Namdekanu, it can only tell you one thing. They want to be called the supreme leader. And in, in, while they are at it, they are now exposing their ignorance to the public to see. As many people may have it, you know, this, this fight that they have started, because they started this. Kanon Takanu started this. We were on our own. <laughs> we were not troublemakers. We know where we take our, we know where our loyalty lies. Now Kanunta stood up to start implementing insubordination, to start, you know, flouting the, the, the activities of the leadership, to start overriding the instruction of his own elder brother, the supreme leader. Just because he believes he can, without knowing that this is a struggle, this is not a family business, this is not a kingship. And having seen that Kalanta was the one whom the DOS asked, Where is your brother? Kalanta told them that the bro your brother, his brother, is in the mountain praying that the brother is in the mountain praying and someone was busy using the Mazen Nam De Kano's Facebook account or Twitter account with him so that we will feel reluctant everybody will be you know we believe that Mazen Nam De Kano is okay having seen that people accused you of all these things I'm calling it accused because that time they said it no one confirmed it until now I am still referring to the past. Have you seen that people accused you of all these things? And we were in the media space defending you for the dignity and the benefit of our supreme leader's family. Instead of you, Canon Takano, to go and sideline yourself, knowing that you have caused a lot of problem to this struggle, you have caused a lot of confusion to this struggle, you did not. You were still there engaging yourself in illegal activities, which is making us people to, you know, to agree with those who said that you sold your brother. Because if you are a person who is wise, or whoever that advises you, advise you correctly, you're supposed to know that you're supposed to sideline yourself prior to the time where Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped in Kenya. Because of your involvement, because of, you know, the rumor or the truth that is making round on social media. But because you are, in, you know, because you are not innocent. That is the reason why you're still all over the place. Still chasing that thing that you were chasing after that made you co to conceal the information that your brother was kidnapped in Kenya for eight days. You concealed it because of that power mounting. That is the reason why you could not comport, compose yourself or comport yourself to support the leadership to make sure that your brother is released. Rather, you are flouting every instruction of your brother, which automatically proves that every allegation leveled against you is indeed the truth. 
and the, all your involvement ever since none of it is profitable to this movement it is all about your selfish interest it is all about you trying to flout Mazen the Kano's instruction for you to be recognized as another um, um, supreme leader, which is impossible. So now, if you have seen all the activities of Kano Takano, but to the time he said, you know, he, coll he collided with a, um, a Jumako to come and tell us that Mazen Nam the Kano said, we should stop attacking each other, which I came to tell you it was a lie because he want to confuse the narrative. Just like a Perimai Finland want to change the narrative. He want to confuse the narrative. IPOB family is not, you know, Mazen Nam the Kanu is not an author of confusion. And Mazen Nam the Kanu give us message through one channel. And that channel, we know it. When we get that message from that channel, we will recognize it. And we are going to, up, you know, make that message to stand tall. But if a fan is your phone, but it must, you have to call it. We have it only one channel that we have is but if a fan is your phone, man, mm -hmm. my brother. You say things the way it is because we are not coming here to look anybody's face. But if a fan is your phone. When you exactly. send any message from there, other one they may go to hell from but if a fan is your phone, he bring our son Ozakome. Must continue, please. So when we uh, we know that Mazen Nam the Kanu is never an author of confusion, he is never confused. Everything he tells you, check it in your dictionary, you will find the meaning. Now, Mazen Nam the Kanu, because they are taking advantage of him because he cannot speak for himself. Kanu Takano taking advantage of the rela relation or we we'll call it spouse, being a spouse to Mazen Nam the Kano or whatever. He is taking advantage of that and he is using it to program some of these people who does not work with their spirit but work with their head. He programmed them, you may know them as coordinators and all that. He programmed them because of this emotional, you know, emotional blackmailing. Because people believe that he is a family to Mazen Nam the Kano. Therefore, we must listen to him or everything he brings to the table. It means it is Mazen Nam the Kano. When last did you hear that when Freedom Fighter is, you know, in, in, you know, he's doing, he gives instruction that his family member will come and make you to flout to the instruction because you believe he's a family member, he can never go wrong. This is the problem of we African people because we are emotional in everything that we 